you get used to it. It's, to us, it's, it's really interesting talking to people. Yeah, because here's like, here's like one of the, one of the great examples of that. Is that I finally finished that album. It was like a, know, six months, eight months after we announced it. I had that massive album. Right, right. It's like a 25-page album.
<laughs> it is required. So we are contractual obligation. Yeah. <laughs> so at this point, even for Which I would have shut the side a long time ago. I had Kim not said no. Go but, then, but ironically, the CKG knocked, I mean, in Cassidy, knocked CKG down to Davis's purview. And somewhere after that is when I think Davis couldn't work on it. And I said, all right, Davis, let's get a team of people together to do this. We got good designers. And that's when yeah, we call Casey Christophe. But there's a few others. It's Casey Castro, Mike Stewart. Uh, Robert Doyle was on there, but then that quickly became cumbersome, and a variety of life issues get in the way, and they kind of kept shunting that, shunting that, shunting that. I guess about a year ago or 18 months ago, I took over all of it, everything you had written at that point. Well, I think last summer was when I took that seven-day hiatus. Something, and I just I just took the whole thing, and I'm just, give me everything you've got on Castle Day, and I pretty much let the entire crew go, except Casey. Casey on, and I brought in Jim because at that point Jim was Jim can do really good um, straight up Dungeons and Dragons cast and whatever role playing type stuff. He did, he did the equipment chapters. He could just about half of that's Jim Ward. Um, so I brought in Jim Ward to help me out some. And Casey's written. Casey wrote all the kind of mass combat stuff with all yours. Mm -hmm. The magic chapters, yours, and the model of days, the most of yours. It's all the modern, modern. And the modern, yeah, the modern, the modern. A lot of the stuff that the uh, players put chat that came out this weekend, the stuff that we oh yeah uh, had redesigned and redesigned. Oh, for the yeah. high level guys. Yeah. 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 So it so it becomes a model, and then it became about a year ago, I guess, just a massive editing project for me. And I found out very quick. I think I was telling telling you yesterday. I found out very very quickly when I'm reading through chapter one. This isn't. If we're going to go down this road, we're not going to do just back guys original concept of a how to role play. Now you can no, okay. you notice the subtlety of that wording. If we're gonna go down this road. Mm -hmm. already done one go down. Yeah. <laughs> at all. <laughs> at all. It is not how I mean you guys you guys you I know you've been the whole time. How many times <laughs> and Mac Mac always got every time I'm sitting there running a game, you cast a spell. What does that spell do? I've played a role playing game since seventy seven and I don't know what darkness does. I have no <laughs> idea what that spell is. <laughs> Because I just like, whatever you and Mac knows this from a long time. He just said, "Make stuff." Up. This dude doesn't use dice. When you say Davis roll, he goes three. <laughs> 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 and I don't mind. care. I just don't care. <laughs> this guy just roll it. And Mac tells me what this spell did. Years ago, he tells me what monsters do. Mac, what is the North? One day I hit die. So I just keep playing. Just, I don't do rules. So when we're going down this road, and I get on this this rule heavy road, but then. When I'm reading this stuff, these, these high level characters, and this is the fun part. Is Casey wrote in a different tense. Mm -hmm. Davis wrote in a different tense. Mm -hmm. And both of these guys, this is just brilliant. Casey's the worst. He'll write his meat, then his introduction, and then portions of his meat, and then the conclusion. So I'm reading through it, and I go, damn it, Casey didn't write an introduction. So I write, and this is on that modern chapter, I wrote two full pages of intro just so that the reader knows what they're talking about. Okay. And I start reading back down, and he's about eight pages in. Introduction. <laughs> 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 so it, it's, it's just been a really fun, but when I got into it, and I, I don't know if it was Mac or Mark mentioned something to me about a year ago or so. Uh, the CKG, I think it was Mark. Mark's been really critical on the CKG when he's been looking at it. He's a player, he never did. And Mark is the one, probably more than anybody, despite Mac arguing with me for like three decades now. <laughs> 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 Mark has impressed on my mind that I don't play. I run games. And when you run games night of the time, you really don't think like a player at all. So everything I do is from this side of the screen. If I make a rule, it's from this side of the screen. If I make a magic guy, it's from this side of the screen. It's not really for players. Mark makes really cool magic guys. He likes to design, I think it's in the industry here, those blankets, the hobbit blankets, the only one you want to sleep in. Mark and I, oh, that's really cool. I never thought of just a simple little thing. Yeah, it's just a hill and injured leg. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what what off of Mark? What Mark said to me about a year is that you need to whatever the CAT does, it's got to answer every possible question. You know, all those questions players have asked over the years. Well, that's, the weather. that's where I, I come to uh, the way I create rules is I run a lot of games and I play a lot of games, and um, I find that sometimes we have in 